Hello dear YouTubers! Here we are going to make a moving gear for theater purposes. Let's start with the drawing. I really wanted five spokes. Why? Not sure. It just looks good. At 72 degrees for each part. Let's retouch the corners here. Yes, something like that. Oh yes, and I also need some gear teeth. To make the gear out of two individual parts of styrofoam. All right, let's draw the thing. We decided how big each part had to be, just from the way it looked. There's a saying in Dutch, met passen en meten wordt de meeste tijd gesleten. Which means, measuring and getting everything to fit takes up most of the time. This is in real time, by the way. All right, you get the point. So, now we just need to cut it out. Yep, that took an awful lot of time too. Just make sure you don't cut the mattress. the edges a bit. I figured the fastest way to do this would be to cut out the outer edge first and to cut out the teeth later. So that's what I did. It's time to cut out the spokes. I had to really pay attention not to cut the wrong lines. Hooray! The first one is done. Four more to go.
Styrofoam, or as we call it, Tempex, is a wonderful material. It is very lightweight. So as soon as the props are ready, they will be very lightweight too. It was nice to have the boys around. They learned a lot of mathematics along the way. And of course, the making process itself. Here I'm very careful not to cut too deep. Because that would be a shame. Of How about a quick look? Huh? Yeah. Ugh. Why did I decide I wanted so many teeth? Oh well. Coffee? Yes, it definitely does look better with the teeth on. Speaking with the manager? Yep, he agrees. Alright, let's do the other one. Did you know this footage is sped up eight times? Yep, it took me that long. Alright, that's looking great. All that's left now is vacuum the grass. Those little styrofoam balls don't decay very well. So, yep, I'm vacuuming the grass. And then it was paper mesh time. The truth is, the paper did not stick very well to the styrofoam. In case you're wondering, is the joint on both pieces strong enough? Well, we reinforce those with small wooden dowels, so they wouldn't break. We ended up using about three layers of paper mesh. But since the process is basically the same, we didn't film all of it. So, this is the first half done. Let's move it over and do the second part. But on the other side, we had to weigh down the middle because the paper mesh, as soon as it dried, well, it bent the styrofoam.
Unfortunately, we did not film the painting process. But we do have some pictures, so I'll just show you those. We were unsure how it had to look, so we tried a couple of different looks and this is about how it turned out. And here it is, together with some older props we still had lying around from other projects. But remember, we wanted a moving gear. So this is the test of the motor. And by the way, thank you Dad, for all your help. This is the first and, by the way, only test on stage. And some footage of it during the play. Thank you for watching.